Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, December 21st, 2023, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Universal Studios is looking at England for its next theme park. The company has bought land near London to possibly build its next big project, writes Travel Experiences reporter Celine Brophy. Universal said it's examining how viable a new theme park resort in the United Kingdom would be. Brophy notes the attractions operator expects to make a final decision about the project after several months of stakeholder and community engagement. If Universal decides to build the theme park, Brophy writes it would be its most significant foray into Europe. A Universal representative told Theme Park Insider that roughly half of the UK population lives within two hours of the proposed site. Next, the retailer Tommy Bahama is famous for producing Hawaiian-themed attire. The company is now taking its beach vibes to the hotel industry. It recently opened its first hotel, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. Tommy Bahama CEO Doug Wood said the retailer decided to enter the hotel business on the advice of focus groups it commissioned. Tommy Bahama then bought the Miramont, a struggling resort in California's Coachella Valley with real estate services firm Lowe. Tommy Bahama's first hotel, which underwent a roughly $20 million renovation and redesign, includes a restaurant serving common beach offerings. While O'Neill writes the jury is still out on the hotel's success, Wood said he's looking forward to opening more resorts. Finally, in-flight connectivity has gotten a major boost thanks to Starlink Aviation, writes reporter Ajay Atani. Atani notes a growing number of airlines have turned to Starlink in recent years to improve in-flight internet service. Hawaiian Airlines, Latvia carrier Air Baltic, and Qatar Airways are among the carriers that have reached agreements with Starlink. In addition, Starlink signed Air New Zealand to trial internet on board its domestic aircraft. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.